Oh, we're here at Spa X. Same place where Aaron got his arm stuck and had to cut it off. Hopefully we don't have an incident today. But we all brought our pocket knife, so we're ready. And yeah, we're, we're here live at Spot X and we're learning lots about canyoneering. One thing in particularly is it's a long drive out to Spot X. Every Spot X we've been to, it's a long bumpy drive. But it's beautiful country. We got caught up in a windstorm yesterday. And now we are here. And now we're ready to go down, down. Hopefully we survive. <laughs> down, down into the canyon. Yeah, this time we'll take you along with us on some more canyoneering adventures and maybe you'll learn a thing or two. Look at this beautiful tree. <laughs> We're at the first rappel and the first order of business is inspecting the anchor. And it looks like we're around a nice tree there. It all looks like it's in great condition. Got a nice water knot here. Doesn't look too sun bleached. Another water knot here. And this all looks okay. Now Danny's going to tie a... We're gonna flake the rope and then I'm going to tie a munter with an overhand. Munter mule on an overhand. Munter Woo mule on an overhand. Hopefully Danny tied the knot good enough. Here we look at the loop is on the knot. It's giving Danny a meat anchor. So uh, she's repelling off meat. It's rock right here. Yeah, that's why we're really you don't want to pull a rock down on yourself. Become a statistic. Okay, we've made it down two repels. Now we're getting a little more narrow in here. It is getting a little bit more narrow. You got it. Ooh. Ooh. Another successful canyoneering trip. We all have our arms. Kooks rule, locals drew, I got my arms. Let's get an arm check. That was really the one Did where you, you got You got arm. your arms? In real life. Now we're exiting. And now we move on to the next bumpy road. The next destination, Spot X. All right, here's a nice canyoneering tip because route finding is going to be a big part of the mission. And I have this Road Trip Ryan app, thanks to Lee. And you can see how off we are. Maybe. Oh, there we go. So we're way off. We're like here in the middle. We got to make our way back to this waypoint. And this app is really cool. So you can just download the areas and it's got all the canyon nearing routes. You can see the Blue John Canyon here. Everyone got lost. And yeah, we see footprints everywhere, so we're not the only ones. And you can see I even got like this arrow here. So definitely need some form of GPS. We like to call them GPS reports. We're out here clocked in, working hard for you guys. I bet you guys think you're lo looking at the uh, NASA Martian rover footage, but that's just the campsite here in Spot X, Red Redlands. And these canyoneering adventures, uh, as Lee would probably say, they, are, they ain't no joke. 
and mother nature kicks our butt every yeah day. every day you get your butt whooped by mother nature and also you get to whoop your van's butt by planet earth on these crazy roads but it's a wild ride out to the canyon we're going to the next one lee says it's going to be a tight squeeze spot x is always full of surprises so you guys will love this one and we're going to head over to the canyon you can see some of the terrain we're crossing here just out here in the middle of nowhere literally we are in no man's land on our way to the next adventure adventure before dementia all right, crew's ready. We got the first rappel off this pile of rocks here. And if you're brave enough, you can down climb it. But we're not doing that. We're about to drop down a nice 100 foot rappel. I got my critter belay device here. I just got a quick link to extend it to make it more comfortable. I would normally tie a pressic, but Lee's below and he's gonna fireman belay me. You got your pass on? This critter has got a few settings, so that's that'll help me go a little slower. I got my personal anchor on here and when I'm ready to lower. Sometimes it's good to weigh my device, so hold tight. So Lee's let me know down below he's ready to fireman. I got my I got my pass on. Leaning back. It's locked. It's weighted. So it's ready for me to send it. Don't let go of your right hand because that's the break. I'm on repel, so always hold on. Okay, coming down. So we got a double clove here with the pull cord and I'm going to have the pull cord on my harness here. So yeah, everyone's probably wondering how we get our ropes back down. Well, we got this pull cord and here it comes. So there's our pull cord and then there's our rope. And it looks like we'll have successfully pulled the rope through. All right, we got a clove hitch tied on the carabiner. Inner block at the top. We got our rope. And we're in good shape. And for efficiency, while Kevin's doing the pull, I'm stuck in the cord. <laughs> All right, the kooks are in the canyon. We've made it deep inside. And let's see what we got going here. Ooh, some water. Oh, good thing I got my helmet on. <laughs> I hit my head all the time in canyon. crack of earth and we're just gonna keep working our way through well Lee just saved us because if he hadn't climbed up and got the rope which you see in this footage we'd be stuck here yeah, but we still gotta go way down there so MVP right here and as you can see we were up there somewhere and my big head's blocking it up here and we're almost done nice. all right everyone at home you want to go canyoneering well it's a lot of work i wish i could cuss but then youtube will demonetize me just get ready to work your tail end off look at that view though 